Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial, Functional Analysis, Class Number 43. In this video, we prove a theorem, Characterization Theorem for Orthonormal Sets. Characterization Theorem for Orthonormal Sets. Let us see the statement. Let capital H be a Hilbert space and let set EI be an orthonormal set in the Hilbert space capital H. Then the following four statements are equivalent to one another. First one, set EI is complete. Second one, X perpendicular to set EI implies X equal to zero. Third one, if X is an or arbitrary vector in the Hilbert space H, then X equal to summation over I, inner product of X comma EI into summation over I, inner product of X comma EI into EI. Fourth statement, if x is an arbitrary vector in H, then norm x square is equals to summation over i mod inner product of x comma i whole square. So we prove this theorem. Let us take H be a Hilbert space. Let capital H be a Hilbert space and set EI be an orthonormal set be an orthonormal set in capital H. We have to prove that the four statements are equivalent to one another. So first we show that condition 1 implies condition 2. So let us see the conditions. The first condition is set EI is complete. So assume that suppose suppose set EI is complete. Set EI is complete. Now we have to prove that we have to prove that if x perpendicular to the set EI then this x is equals to 0. Our aim is to show that like this. So to prove this, to prove this, assume that suppose, suppose x perpendicular to set EI but, but x not equals to 0. Actually our aim is to show that x equal to 0. We assume that x is not equals to 0. So okay, before going to prove this, prove this, let us see the complete orthonormal set definition. So let us see. A, an orthonormal set, an orthonormal set is said to be complete orthonormal set if it is not contained, remember that, if it is not contained in any another larger orthonormal set. So an orthonormal set is said to be complete if it does not lies in any another larger orthonormal set. What it means? An orthonormal set set EI in the Hilbert space capital H is said to be complete if it is not possible, it is not possible to adjoin, to add a vector E to the set EI in such a way that set EI comma E an orthonormal set which properly contains EI. Remember that it is not possible to adjoin a vector E. So that's it. This is known as complete orthonormal set. So here also in our theorem, the set EI is complete. Remember that the set EI is complete. Now we have to show that whenever this X is perpendicular to set EI, then X equal to zero. So assume that this X is not equals to zero. Assume that this X is not equals to zero. So after this, define a condition, define E is equals to x by norm x, which is clearly a unit vector, which is clearly a unit vector in capital H, such that this E is perpendicular to EI, that is inner product of E comma EI is equals to zero. It is very clear the defined vector E is a unit vector. It means norm E is equals to 
norm of x by norm x which is clearly equivalent to norm x by norm x so which is equals to 1 it means the defined vector is a unit vector so e is a unit vector and then the set e it means it is a singleton set and only one vector which is unit vector this is a singleton set having only one unit vector one unit vector so obviously this set becomes orthonormal set this set e this singleton set becomes orthonormal orthonormal set this set becomes orthonormal set so it should be noted that if if set ei is a non empty set is a non empty set of mutually of mutually orthogonal of mutually orthogonal non zero vectors non zero vectors in capital h and if in this set in this set each xi is replaced each xi is replaced by the corresponding unit vector by the corresponding unit vector like this xi by norm xi so every vector in this set is replaced by xi by norm xi i mean every ei is replaced every ei is replaced then the resulting set then the resulting set ei is an orthonormal set is an orthonormal set this shows us this shows us the set e comma ei is an orthonormal set an orthonormal set properly containing properly containing properly containing set ei this is a contradiction this is a contradiction because because set ei this set ei is complete this set ei is complete means it does not lies in any another orthonormal set but what you get here there is a set e comma ei it properly containing set ei this is a contradiction this contradiction exists because of our assumption this contradiction exists because of our assumption this x is not equals to 0 hence our assumption is wrong therefore our assumption x not equals to 0 is wrong therefore x equal to 0 hence we conclude that x perpendicular to set ei implies as this x equal to 0 this shows as condition 1 implies condition 2 right this is the first part of the theorem we show that condition 1 implies condition 2 now we are going to prove condition 2 implies condition 3 see the condition 2 x perpendicular to set ei set ei implies x equal to 0 you have to show that the text can be written as summation of x comma ei into inner product of x comma ei into ei so now we are going to prove condition 2 implies condition 3 what is condition 2 so let us assume condition 2 suppose suppose x perpendicular to set ei implies this x equal to 0 now we can show that we can show that if x is an arbitrary x is an arbitrary vector in the hilbert space capital h then this x can be written like this x is equals to 
summation over i inner product of x comma e i into e i. So by previous theorem, by previous theorem, uh, I write the statement of theorem here. Let us see. If e i is an orthonormal set, by previous, I am writing the previous theorem statement here. If set E i is an orthonormal set, is an orthonormal set in the Hilbert space capital H, in the Hilbert space capital H, and x is any arbitrary vector in H, then x minus summation over i inner product of x comma e i into e i is perpendicular to e j for each j for each j this is the statement of previous theorem by using this theorem here also by applying the same theorem by applying this theorem here x minus summation over i inner product of x comma e i into e i is perpendicular to set e i is perpendicular to set e i. If this is perpendicular to set e i, obviously x minus summation over i inner product of inner product of x comma e i into e i must be zero. So which implies as x equals to summation over i inner product of x comma e i into e i. This proves condition number three. Therefore. Condition 2 implies condition 3. So now we are going to prove condition 3 implies condition 4. So condition 3 implies condition 4. What is condition 3? It is given that for any arbitrary vector x in capital H, Hilbert space capital H, that x can be written as summation over i inner product of x comma e i into e i. You have to show that in the condition number 4, we have to prove that norm x square is equals to summation over i mod inner product of x comma e i whole square. So it is simple and easy to prove that. So now calculate, now calculate norm x square. By the definition of norm, it can be written as inner product of x comma x. Now what is x, x here? Inner product of summation over i x comma e i e i into e i comma summation over i inner product of x comma e i into e i so this can be written as summation over i so here you observe that summation runs over same set for our convenience to remove the confusion you can write here summation over j summation over j so just for to remove our confusion summation over i and summation over j inner product of x comma e i into inner product of inner product of x comma e i comma inner product of x comma e j such that inner product of e i comma e j i mean this is bar because of we know that this property here inner product of x comma a a y can be written as a bar into inner product of x comma y by applying that here it is the second element so you get bar bar so here you observe that just for our convenience we write j but both the summations runs over same elements so you can replace only one summation summation over i and inner product of x comma e i into inner product of x comma e i bar e i bar and you observe that you observe that here here this term inner product of e i comma e j is equals to 0 for i not equals to j and inner product of e i comma e i is equals to 1 for i is equals to j for i is equals to j remember that so because of they are orthonormal sets they are orthonormal sets so this term completely becomes this term completely becomes one so after you get again here summation over i 
this is in the form of z into z bar in the complex numbers z into z bar means mod z square so you can write this mod inner product of x comma ei whole square which is required one in the left side we have norm x square in the right side we have this one so norm x square is equals to summation over i mod inner product of x comma ei whole square this proves condition number four right in the next one we prove that condition four implies condition one already we prove that one implies two and then we prove that two implies three and then we prove that three implies four now we are going to prove four implies one what is fourth condition for an arbitrary vector x in the hilbert space capital h we have norm x square is equals to summation over i mod inner product of x comma ei whole square so we have to prove that what is condition number one we have to prove that the set ei is complete the set ei is complete so right suppose to prove that the set ei is complete assume that suppose set ei is not complete not complete we have to prove that it is complete we are assuming that it is not complete if it is not complete then then set ei set ei is a proper subset is a proper subset of an orthonormal set an orthonormal set set an orthonormal set set ei comma e set ei comma e right then by hypothesis by hypothesis by hypothesis norm e square is equals to summation over i mod inner product of e comma ei whole square is equals to zero because every vector is perpendicular to since because this happens only e is perpendicular to ei e is perpendicular to ei so e is perpendicular to ei means inner product of e comma ei is equals to zero this condition shows as norm e square is equals to zero norm e square is equals to zero means this is a contradiction again this is a contradiction this is a contradiction because e is a unit vector e is a unit vector e is a unit vector means norm e is equals to one it means norm e square is also equivalent to one but what we get norm e square is equals to zero so hence this contradiction exists because of our assumption because of our assumption set ei is not complete so so our assumption is wrong our assumption is wrong set ei is complete orthonormal set set ei is complete orthonormal set so you observe that this proves condition number 1 hence we prove that condition number 4 implies condition 1 hence what we conclude 1 implies we prove that 1 implies 2 and then we prove 2 implies 3 and then we prove 3 implies 4 and then we prove 4 implies 1 this process shows us all the four conditions in the theorem are equivalent to one another are equivalent to one another this theorem is known as characterization theorem for orthonormal set so and also you observe that these are the properties of orthonormal sets in a hilbert space these four conditions these four conditions are known as properties of orthonormal sets in hilbert space in the next video we learn the conjugate space h star we learn about the conjugate space h star keep learning wish you all the best